tried some weird diets in my life. I'm a diet criminal. I should be arrested. They're looking. They're looking for me, but I can't be found. I'm swift due to my diet history. So I figure today we reminisce a little bit about the past, talk about all the weird diets I've tried, some you don't even know about. You think I'm weird now. You should have seen me before I started YouTube. I had like six years to play around. I thought I figured it out. And that's why we're here, clearly not. He's in the When I first entered this world, I embarked upon a two-year breast milk cleanse. It was a 15 meal a day plan. Eat whenever you want, middle of the night, no rules, no holds barred. And it worked. It worked pretty well. I remember my mom told me my first meal was like bananas or something. And as soon as I ate that, my poo turned nasty. Before that, it was all pleasant breast milk poo. And then it was like, what the hell? Immediately overnight, it was like, oh God. And she was like, I guess that begins. Why'd you make me fruitarian, mom? But I grew up eating normal food and it kind of got me in trouble. I don't know, once my teen years hit and food was so delicious and there was all this processed food around and I would just eat weird things like whole bags of sun chips. What are those even made of? Corn, GMO corn and spices and MSG. They were so delicious. French onion flavored. Wow, lots of fast food, processed meats, just Havarti cheese, so much cheese. I used to make craft dinner and add like a half a brick of cheddar cheese grated in, stirring it, the whole thing would stick. The whole thing was a clump. It's still in me, I guarantee you. So I quickly started bleeding internally and realized that wasn't my life path. Problem was I'm a moron and my research skills are limited. I'm stupid. And so I'm looking for, uh, how do you fix this? Oh, nobody has answers. I know, I'll fix it with just eating KFC and whatever I want, bitch. Didn't work. So I tried several paths, but they weren't weird diets. Just like a very soluble fiber rich diet. Just squashes, white rice, some meats. Like very normal diet. It's not weird enough to make the list. My first weird diet was the fruit based diet. It's weird. You've got to admit it. When you read about it and you start doing it, like people look at you like, what are you doing? Cashiers are looking like, how are you? You have like 15 bunches of bananas. You're not a monkey. Are you going to eat all those? What are you going to do with that food? People are like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's different because it's weird. But you read about it and you think this is the most natural way to be. We're fruitarians in a forest. So it's not where you're weird. But no, you're the weird one. There's too much fruit. I'm doing it right now. It's fun times. I hate it. It's funny because it's the most natural sounding diet, yet the most unnatural. When you actually go out in nature, it's like fruit grows for like two weeks at a time and then it's done for the rest of the year and there's nothing left anywhere. I'm sure in the tropics there's places where just mangoes are growing and not far away there's papayas all the time and huge forests everywhere. But for the most of the world, it doesn't really matter now because we can just ship anything anywhere but it's not very natural and it is weird now i'm not one that is known to change his diet ever but i was on this fruit based thing kind of struggling just like i am right now and i decided you know what i'm gonna try this low sugar approach but my first version i've never told anybody about this i think it lasted like three days maybe it was just green juices and avocados and my thinking was, okay, no harsh fiber in the vegetables. I'm juicing them, but I'm going high fat, but not harsh nuts and seeds. So just avocados. So I would like make a green juice and then have like a six avocado meal, fall asleep because I'm exhausted. And my mom was looking at me like, you're going to eat all those? What are you doing? I'm like, trust me, mom, I got this. It's a high fat version of the thing I was doing. It's avocados, they're natural. It knocked me out. It's too much fat. And it actually hurt my gut quite a bit. I was like, why? Why does this hurt so much? Avocados are so soft. It's not working. So I, I tweaked a little couple things. And one of the next diets I tried for acne, it actually worked. But it was so constipating. It didn't work in all areas. It was a grains and veggies diet. 
it was a very simple diet, just one pot meals. It would be like buckwheat with broccoli, cauliflower, and nori, boiled in one pot and no salt, nothing, just boom. It was actually quite delicious. And my next meal would be a different grain, possibly different veggies, but mostly the cruciferous are what I like, and nori for the flavor. Fantastic, and it cleared my skin phenomenally, but the ow. The grain fibers plus all the veggie fibers, like what a nightmare. One of the weirdest but most successful plans I tried was the high fat vegan one meal a day plan. It was just a green juice followed by a huge fatty salad with the fermented nut yogurts and like that helped me so much. My energy was great, skin was clear, strength was building, digestion terrible. The most fun diet I've ever tried, hands down, the restaurant cleanse in Thailand. It was heaven on earth. We reached a stage of human evolution where it's just like, please let this be the answer. It wasn't even close, but it was so delicious. I would just pick my restaurant of choice. Usually it was Happy Green because it was an all you can eat organic vegan buffet. It sounded healthy on paper, it was, but just my face would erupt. I was so thirsty on it too, but it was so fun. Every day I'd look forward to it. I'd ride my bike a good like six kilometers. Even though the Chiang Mai streets are flat, you can go like, it doesn't feel like a bike ride because there's no hills. Very easy to get anywhere. Man, just the rice, the soy, so much soy. Genetically modified, that's how I prefer it. That was my favorite restaurant. I'm so sad they actually closed down long after I left. If I was still there, addicted and then they closed down I'd be, I don't know what I would have done I would have left the country immediately and sometimes I would go to Okaju for the organic salads those were really good but I didn't always feel like that they were super tasty just you pick your ingredients throw them all together get a little dressing oh the little tofu ranch all vegan delicious but not all was well in my body as I searched for the perfect diet I wasn't finding it I wasn't feeling right, I gave up. I was like, enough of this shit. I'm going carnivore. That was weird. Regardless of your belief systems, eating nothing but meat is weird. You're weird if you're doing it. I was weird. Kinda wanna be weird again. Wish I was doing it right now. I'm hungry. We have, I'm still hungry, shirts available. That's a vegan mind that makes that shirt. Cause all I can think about is food. Do you have any? Are you finished with that? A lot of people eat meat because they think we were cavemen at one point, and there's a big narrative saying, oh, for two million years, humans hunted and gathered. And this is what our genetically DNA-like structures have adapted to. That was English, trust me. And this is what we're best known for. And then agriculture, that's like a, a one, one inch on the 100 yard football field of evolution. We're used to the meat and gatherings. And now, oh, you freak, we're never cavemen. None of that history is true. People have made it up. There's architecture more advanced than we've ever been. The city of Atlantis, it's in the ocean. They were better than us. There's batteries, batteries out of copper. I saw a video of this old ass electric car. There were cabs back in the 1920s or something. And they would go to these stations, remove the battery, swap it out for a fresh one, charge that one, cabs on its way, electric. We've been lied to about everything, especially the caveman homo aeropathus theory. Oh boy. So eating nothing but meat is kind of strange and most evidence leads towards that's clogging your body up, but whatever. Heart attacks can be fun. It's a pastime for some people. It gets the family together. So what's wrong with that? A little more together than we could use some of that right now in these days, huh? So there you go. Not that you'll be allowed in the hospital to be treated. They're busy with Bill Gates. But the carnivore diet wasn't weird enough. I had to go raw with it. That got weird. That got really weird. I felt weird eating it. I remember flying what was it, to Laos, and I brought raw meat with me and I'm eating it in the airport. I didn't know what else to eat. I had a bunch of ribeye steaks and I was like, I guess I'll just bring those and 
By the time I got there, it smelled terrible, and I'm just eating it, and I just felt so stupid. Like, I hope nobody sees me. I'm, you thought the fruit diet was weird at your cashier. Try eating raw meat in an airport. The funny thing about the raw meat diet is it's so bland yet so satiating for some reason. Like you're not enjoying the meal and then you just stop. You feel the hunger just cease in your body and you're like, okay, I'm done. But it like it tasted like your tongue already tastes. There's nothing different, it's just meat, it's flesh. And don't get me started on the high meat. That's another world of hurt. People say like, oh, this is good. It's like, no, never. There's no, even the liver, that's the best one. Terrible. I tried beef heart, left it for like a month and a half. Oh, one of the weirdest things I've done was actually that 90 day juice fast. That was weird. No food, like you're just drinking. That Who does that? I did it. It was beneficial. I feel like it almost killed me though. Just I was starving. I'm a little skinny. My fingers got super long. It's the lens, dickhead. If I were to switch, I would look less skinny, but still malnourished and diseased. But less skinny. Take that. So that leads us to today, where we're trying to make a vegan diet work, like a mostly raw fruit type of thing with a starchy dinner. I don't know how it's going. It's not perfect, that's for sure. I'm just, I'm kind of, unimpressed by veganism so far from what I've tried it seems like the starchy foods are making my skin and digestion worse and I feel slightly less hydrated but without them I die I need food I feel like the fruits aren't enough and when I go to the fats instead of the starches my skin gets much worse than the starches ever do just there's a balance I'm trying to get here with like great energy levels. That's my first pillar, mind, mood, energy, boom. Digestion, don't constipate me, don't be weird pains, no diarrhea, just nice digestion and clear skin. Let me look like somebody who knows what they're doing. Somebody who thinks they're healthy and oh, I wish I could be like him. Teach me, how do you do that? Nobody's looking at this face thinking, oh, geez, let me, what's your secret, buddy? I have secrets. You wish you knew them. You wish. <laughs> so I don't know what the future holds. I'm telling you, I'm just being honest with you. I'm debating between trying to stick this out or just going like full carnivore again. That's my debate right now. I even ordered that book, Natasha McCampbell McBride. <laughs> I butchered that. Her new book, Gut and Physiology Syndrome. I just wanna read it and see what she has to say. Do I resonate with it? Because I feel like I was pulled down the proper path again, the vegan path. It's like, yeah, we're doing good. We got it. But the detox struggle, the perpetual never ending detox, that's a bitch. I feel okay, it's just what got me questioning it was this back injury. I just ran, I jogged around a block and then I threw my back out and it's like, what's wrong with me? How can I injure myself this badly? It's been so painful for like three days. Just this spasming sharpness. Ow. So what the hell, veganism? My spine's made of crayons. So we'll see, I hate to put my audience through another drastic shift again, but it might happen. I'm trying to make it not happen, but we'll see. I might just stop documenting this nightmare <laughs> and move on to maybe make another YouTube channel about something completely different. I don't know. We'll see. Future is fun. Future is fun. So, we're done. Oh, that battery's about to... It won't die before you thumb up the video, of course. Thumbs down. If you're happy with your current diet, you've never changed it, you knew from day one what the best diet was and you just ate it and didn't think about anything you just had fun in life never once did you think about food you think you're better than me i disagree i have an eagle do you have an eagle and acne and do you fart 
I've been farting for six months straight since switching to veganism. Six months of farts. They'll stop soon. Trust me. I'm going to leave after you buy a I'm Still Hungry shirt. You're not hungry. Subscribing?